Greetings Commanders and welcome. In this video you are going to see a few changes that have come in Update 7. This is the turret to defend a settlement. They say it's very strong but I cannot confirm that because I haven't tested it and I don't want to lose my ship. But it should no longer be possible to drop mines or shoot dome fire missiles at a settlement. But you can disactivate it by removing this panel over here and overcharge it. And then the turret is roughly 2 minutes offline. This is the turret shooting at my ship. I just shot the settlement to see what it will do. So I am now 1.4 uh, kilometers away from the settlement and from what I can tell it is still pretty okay. My shields have a strength of um, 1.6, almost 1.7. So I don't know if I'm gonna come closer It will if the damage will be increased. But from here you can even shoot your dump fire missiles. So one turret does not so much damage. And here you can see an NPC using a rocket launcher, recharging the rocket launcher. So from now on they will also use rocket launchers on you or on your ship when you try to land. And in outfitting we have now 200 uh, module space coming from 120. Even if they will give me 500 uh, module space, I will manage to get it full and complain it is not enough. But it is already a leap forward from 120 to 200. And this is the interior of an industrial high-tech station. Every station, depending on the activity, will now have a different color inside. To find the notes for update 7, you go to Elite Dangerous Forum, you select News and Bulletins, and here you see Odyssey Update 7 notes. And this is everything that has to do with the update 7. So you can take your time to read it over, see what might be interesting for you. And that's a few changes in update 7. There is more. Uh, like uh, show you where you can find the patch notes to see everything that is gonna come but we also have uh, the apex uh, redirect that has to come and the four seed ships so that's it for this time commanders see you the next time bye